Hello there, folks. This is really weird. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Welcome to the Suze Game Reviews live stream. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm wearing my new Oculus Quest, or Meta Quest, or the hell it's called, 3. It's really amazing. And I'm trying to, like, to stream right now. I think I'm streaming. Um, I'm inside the seventh guest world, except it's paused. There's like raindrops paused here. Um, if I turn this thing off, the gear turns back on. But I was trying to try to keep the browser here open. <laughs> So I can see if anybody's in the chat and I can <laughs> respond to the chat. I can't, unfortunately, can't see chat like any other time. So this is like really weird. It's very trippy. The game is like a little bit scary too. I mean, like, especially late at night. It's uh, 12 30 in the morning on Thursday night, Friday morning, Eastern time. I guess October 26, October 27th, 2023. This game, the seventh guest VR, just came out. Uh, and it's it's really uh, like I said, pretty awesome. <laughs> like it's frozen here right now, so I want to make sure at least a couple people enjoy the chat and this thing is working before I try to actually play the game. Because like I said, I'm not able to see this shit while like the screen that I have up right now. I'm not able to see it. Hey, stars, man, how's it going, man? So let me let me let me take this off, and you can see the the the, the VR hopefully, and tell me know how it's working. Okay. So it's raining. I'm likely to get. I have a very small working area here, so it's very likely. Oh shit! It's so cool. It's very likely I'll exit the immersion at some point. A little boundary circle, but I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, there's a bunch of different options for controls. I didn't know which one to pick. I just just whatever. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I like it's an option posture seated because I am seated. But let me get back. To, uh, my hands are skeletons too. <laughs> let me get back to the menu though and see if uh, to, to my browser screen. It looks okay. It's working. All right, good. Th this is the first. Okay, not the first time I tried the game. Um, well, it's, I haven't played it at all. I, I literally turned it on. And then I like basically like stood here in amazement, and then I realized like, a that I'm too scared to play it myself, <laughs> and b like I want to wait till I stream it. So I have not started the game. It's zero percent. I have not seen anything. I just know that like, it's really creepy. It's really weird when it freezes like this. I guess there's two ways I could have done this. One would be like leave the immersion and like or take the helmet off and look at the chat but I figured the best way to do it was like this with this little pop-up thing but that means it pauses the game when I do it unfortunately. I mean that's a good thing because if I, if I get a jump scare I can pause the game. <laughs> but I think I'm going to turn this off for a little bit and leave this is on but if you're watching this what I mean by I'll turn off the browser so I can, we actually can all see the game. But if you're watching this um, now or after the fact, please let me know what you think. This this device is amazing. I will tell you, like you can't get a sense of it from you know just viewing it on. You know, I would never have bought this. I just I was like I really want to play this game, and I, I I bought it like it was a splurge. But now that I have it, it's so awesome. This device, this device is so cool. Um, it's amazing, honestly. Not just the VR, the the augmented reality. So um, definitely, uh, you know, it's it's a nice chunk of change. But if you can swing it, definitely consider it. But anyway, yeah, leave comments and and you know subscribe, obviously, and all that stuff. But I'm gonna turn this off a little bit, and try to play the game, and see where we go here.
There's no progress to delete. At least I don't. Oh shit. Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh, this is so cool! Yeah, I, I figured it out. You have to tell me. Oh, that's stupid. Oh my god. How do I row? Yeah, that's stupid. Oh, I, oh, I gotta pit the oar in the water. I only have one oar? I guess so. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I, I touched something. <laughs> I touched something in real life! And I thought it was like, for the game, I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? The amount of space I have is really limited. Ah, I think I just knock, I'm knocking over games and stuff. I mean, I have more space out here. I could have gone, like, upstairs or whatever, I have tons of space, but... And I have space down here, too, just I'm surrounded by, like, crap, I didn't, which I haven't cleaned this place up in a while. Alright, that looks a little cell shaded. I don't know, I don't know why the, the boathouse is so fake. What am I hitting? I don't know. I remember you. I don't remember but you. I don't remember myself anymore. This place does that to you. But maybe we can help each other. Wow, that was trippy. So I guess I'm supposed to like theoretically walk out of here, except I'm, I'm sitting. Whoa. I'm sitting in a chair, so I'm using like the movement control. Hopefully I don't get sick with this. Uh, this is like rotate you and it's really... It's not, I don't like that at all. I gotta find a better way to rotate me. Hang on a second. Is there a way to check the... Uh, not... Uh, how do I get the, the... Is there a menu or something? Well, I'm doing that. Let me, let me look at the chat. There's all the way to do it for it. Hey, always asleep. No, it's a full stereoscopic effect. Uh, stars Manny. And it's, yeah, it's quite amazing. Um, how do I... The end stream. How do I... Uh, I don't know how I pull the option. Maybe I don't. I don't so the, right now, the way the control scheme is right now, the left thumbstick here moves me up around but doesn't turn me and the right thumbstick is rotating me like 100 I don't like that at all I need to get a better control scheme on this better options what does this mean both comfort vignette radius oh turn there we go smooth locomotion that's what I want Come on, come on, do the smooth locomotion with me. All right, now we're talking. I'm probably gonna get super sick, but so I can turn my head. This is a lazy shit sitting in a chair. Cause I don't want to walk around. I probably get myself sick. You see sick. your lantern? Take it. I don't see anything. What? What? What just happened? I teleported. All those weird navigation effects. Oh, my lantern right here, this lantern. Come on. Uh. Ow. <laughs> what the? How do I take it? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Okay, so I can keep turning it on and off. Can I jump across here or something? Or am I going to fall in and die? So you can see... If I shine the light on that little symbol and it made the bridge appear. Shining light, shining light. 
shine a light. Philadelphia freedom of motion. I really should play this standing up. I'm gonna get like so sick. Yes, I do. Philadelphia freedom. Your lantern brings back objects from the past and even fixes them. Thanks a lot, dipshit. It makes the house remember how it used to be. I guess that's Henry Stout's house. I just, I shouldn't, like, I'm turning the mouse, but, like, I just turned my head. I'm turning my head right now. Oh, 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 too, it has some, like, head tracking, so when I turn, it's actually moving me that way. I didn't realize that. Oh, 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 oh. The gate is missing something. I thought it was missing a key. Spooky. Can I take that? Uh, that's what I meant. I took a jewel. What's to do with it? Drop on the floor, I'm afraid to do that. Oh, I guess you put in the other one. To get his mouth to open. The cage is locked! With a key! The dragon keeps it around his neck! To slay the dragon, use the magic like below the floor. I got it anyway. Uh, I thought I got it. Where did it go back? Oh, it's back there. Okay. You slay the dragon. Use the magic sword. I'm just, like, scared. <laughs> yeah, it's time to pause and look at the chat. I don't know what any of these people are, by the way. It's probably... I think my son was playing with this thing. Can you type inventory? Next one, Butterfingers. I know some people who like this in real life. That's pretty funny. Old man Stealth built a house and filled it with his toys. In real life, do you guys think there's any, there's any like chance I would ever come near this house? Well, the reason I'm really impressed by this is the fact that I know Rob Landeros tried to do like a remake, and like I don't know, I think he was involved with this game because he's advertising it, and I didn't think too highly of. You know, some of the stuff he's trying to put Six together. Six came one night. Their screams the only noise. But he surely fucking kicked ass here, in my language. I mean, I'm like sort of walking slowly. I could probably run, but I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Look at the rain! I can't even like play this game. I, 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 it's it's too spooky. It's too it's too immersive. Oh shit! Oh, what happened? I'm inside now. Oh crap! I was sucked in. 
Help! Help! <laughs> uh, this, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to like playing like real, like like really. Oh my god. Guys, it's too much for me. <laughs> I am scared. This is like <laughs> this is this is not something I'm used to, guys. You don't understand. Like I don't. <laughs> There's nobody here. It's like dark. It's late at night. It's freakish. Who's that mommy in real life? Yeah, I can see. I can see myself too. There's nobody there. Yeah, jinkies. Oh my god. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. The toy maker's house. I, I need to remember what happened. I remember his voice playing What's up on the that? record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. Why oh, is there a, a bat? A, a, oh, it's a butterfly. If something appears behind me, guys, I'm gonna like freak or in right in front of me and scares the shit out of me. I'm telling you, I'm losing, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> it's a ghostly record. Oh, I gotta use my spirit lantern on it. Really. You brought it back, back from that evil night. <laughs> Actually, crank it up. Welcome to my house. I'm so pleased to see you all answered my invitation. And tonight promises to be a night full of surprises. Solve my puzzle. You could turn off the perhaps subtitles, by the way. Walk out of here with your heart's most secret desire. Do leave your luggage in the foyer for now, as I have prepared a warm welcome for you all in the dining room. I remain your humble host, Henry Stout. This house is filled with memories. If you find them, we can learn what happened. I'll show you. You just have to stand in the right place and look. So like I said, you can turn on the subtitles, but I left them on for... What just happened? Oh shit. Are the guests? You gotta stand here, is that what said? Edward? Yeah? We're so far from everything. And what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors. Okay? Now shape up. We need to make a good first impression. Stauff has spent his fortune wisely. I don't mind the smell. Bit dreary in here, don't you think? Martine, burdened. Maybe you've seen me on Broadway. Regrettably not. Brian Dutton, you're on business. Mm -hmm. A colleague of Mr. Stauff's. That must be nice. I've never met the man, though I am intrigued by his success. Hmm. Hello? How rude. Hamilton Temple. <laughs> Illusionist <laughs> extraordinaire. What the directors? Julia Hine of the Hine Hotel. I don't suppose you know the toy maker either, do you? No. But I heard he was run out of town. What did happen to the chief? Oh, pish posh. Where's the dining room? Stop. A premonition. Ah. Spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, magic man.
The clock. Every time you hear the clock chime, new rooms can be explored. That's this one I still remember. The dining room. Follow me. That's cool. The fact that like you can see the uh, there's like light underneath the doors, so you, it tells you which door, which rooms you can still you can go to. Before I follow that, I'm gonna check the chat again. Hey Jim, how's it going? Yeah, it's it's really uh, <laughs> the whole thing is very trippy. Um, and this is it's it's way better, obviously, with the headset on than what you guys could probably see in the browser. But yeah, it's freakish. All right, hang on. You can actually, like, freaking, like, interact with these doors. Oh, not that. All right, so that it didn't actually, it's not one continuous space. I wish it was, because that would make it a little bit less freakish. I like teleporting through doors. Where'd that spirit thing go? Puzzle? Staff's not joining us for dinner. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. Great. Is there anything to drink? What's this? Look at a map. Ooh. Map hint help progression. Like a Ouija board. Look, you can see the available rooms, and it even can give hints. It can even solve puzzles for you if you're stuck. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of the uh, the library. Well, I lost it. Where'd it go? May I, may I have it still somewhere? What'd that do? My dear Mr. Knox, how good of you to come during these difficult financial times. But I believe everybody deserves a second chance. Just as I got a new lease on life. But tonight, I want to return that favor by welcoming the elite of our community to my house. This house is a mystery for all my guests. Uh, why am I spinning? Stop spinning. A real head scratcher. Can't open it, maybe it's locked. those plates.
Oh, what the? I turn around. This is locked. Is there a ball? I don't see like a ball to put the roof here. I think there'll be a ball cut out of here or something. But what? Stop doing that. I don't like how it does that. I think I'm missing something. I'm gonna pause for a second to look at the chat again. Possibly a text to speech chat for this sort of stream. I, didn't, I don't know. There must be a way to do it, but I don't know how. Like, I if you guys could figure it out for me, then sure. I don't know how to do it though. That pe that bread, loaf of bread, is not like very healthy. That's a ham. It's a puzzle of some kind, but how do I interact with it? I can turn this, how do I turn the rest of it? I mean, I don't. some kind of hint over here. There's a hint for this puzzle. I don't, I don't know how to use the puzzle. That's interesting. Look how the, the picture changes. in here. Nothing. That's a bread. That. It's too high up. Looks like there's something there, but. You could interact with like everything. But I'm, miss I'm obviously missing something here. There's weights here. What is that? Oh, that's a staff coin. If you're stuck, you can spend that at the spirit board in return for solutions. Okay, good to know. 
I really want a solution though. I want to. I want to know where the puzzle is. What do I do here? Oh, okay. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. There's still one lock that's locked. Should I move this down or something? Step is or something? I know what I just did to make the do that. Uh, I don't get that so much. I'm making progress though. I'm getting the washes too. Hold, hold on a second, guys. Uh, Can I get you teapot? What do you guys think of this so far? I mean, this is pretty crazy. It just it's making me a little sick. I mean, I probably should be standing up and actually interacting. I'm just too lazy. <laughs> That's all I need to do, really, is get up on my ass and like walk around the room. But I don't have a big enough space to do that right where I'm standing right now. I could go upstairs and do it, but <clears throat> or I could clean up this room. Maybe that would also help. <laughs> Yeah, please let me know what you think, guys. I'm doing, I'm doing this for you. Partially for you. And so this thing was a clue that said... Chicken, donkey, fish, and face. A person, maybe? But I don't know what that means. That doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, 
I see what it is, I think. Producer. <laughs> Foil oh, again. That's not even the whole puzzle. Staff seems to know all about us. Yes, he himself seems to have vanished. Ned, how wonderful! Oh, who gives a damn? Will you look at that ghastly cake? I suppose we should indulge just to be polite. Allow me. Marvelous. I think I'll stick to the wine. Thank you. Surprise, surprise. So I guess that's all I have to do in this room. There's quite a lot, actually, if you think about it. So, like, in the original game, there was just this cake puzzle. Like that was, that's, this reminds me of the cake puzzle. So here, first I had to... Um, I had to deal with this, this this game over here. I had to find the three plates and stick them in there. And then I had to first do this puzzle. So there's actually a lot here. Let's see what you guys think. Almost, but yeah, it seems neat. Oh, it looks neat to make sure you always want to care about VR. I, listen, I'm, I'm just playing VR because it's the only way to play this game, but... All right, I'm gonna do like a little bit more. It's but it's it's it started very late today. I meant to start earlier, but I I, I had too much alcohol to drink and I sort of passed out. So, <laughs> but let me let me uh, let me play a little bit more and then uh, we'll see what else there is. The teleporting through the doors I find very very off putting. That's one thing I don't like. I don't like killing me to open the door. Now there's like a record there. think I belong on the Great White Way? Sure, I did my stint as chorus girl, but lately all I can get are local gigs. And every great artist needs a patron. Miss Bird, whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. <laughs> and if there's one person to solve Staff's mystery, it will be me, alone. We'll see about that. Does that seem was not the original? I, I mean, so far this seems like an improvement to me over the original game. 
the puzzles are more interesting. The, the the video is better. I mean, the VR is obviously way better. You probably all like to lie down after dinner. I have prepared a room for each of you upstairs, specifically tailored to your every need. I urge you to explore the room. You may find something. Wonderful. I don't really want anything unexpected, to be honest. I bet you go upstairs now. What's over here? Candle. Oh, we call for help. Hello? Why was that leaving the play area? Well, maybe I do want to leave the play area. It's cool. I'm scared. I'm scared! I'm a whip! I admit it! Oh, shit. He's like a freaking demon. Oh, well, we do that, didn't we? That's Henry Stealth, the wicked toy maker. Spooky. Oh, it's different here. Like the uh, Carters move. Like it's not like one straight line like it was in the past. Where am I meant to go? Anywhere. <sighs> I have nightmares tonight, I'm pretty sure. This is all so beautiful. Just like I used to have when I was younger. Is this part of Staff's game, perhaps? This is Julia Heine's room. Like, like coins in here or something. Like a, a death thing here. What's going on here? Is what is this? This is Nim. for that. I assume I do, but I don't know what happened.
Да, живет. Да, фак. Heidi Hotel. That's pretty useless. Ooh, another puzzle thing. Is this like the traffic game? I think it is. This game is hard. Sliding coffins. I'm a car. Oh, I hate this game. It's hard to even grab those to try to grab. I wish I could just lift the freaking thing up and put it in, but I guess it's attached to the bottom or something. Of these games, but it's really, I feel like I'm actually playing like a real game on a, on a real table as opposed to like on a computer screen, which is such a weird feeling. It's so, it's so bizarre. I wish there was a way, was there a way to reset the puzzle. I probably made it harder for myself. Maybe. It looks like someone isn't ready to be buried yet. I'm already buried. I freely admit that. That's 
not going to work, is it? I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Just moving things around, hoping for something good to happen. I saw a puzzle, so like supposed to be happening, but I don't know what's happening. Did anything change? That's what's cool, those flowers are dead, and if you shine the light on them, they're alive. Those are all those coins. Can't resist like uh, being weird with his voice. Fool them all, Julia. Fool them all. <laughs> I made a little bit of a, a noise, but bottles all over the place. I guess you're supposed to be like an alcoholic. I mean, they already said that, but make sure this mirror. Why is only half a mirror? I solved two puzzles, but I don't think anything happened. Something must have happened, I just don't realize it. Your loan application of financial tell has been denied by the Philanderos Bank. Denied by our bank. Your account consideration review your application to determine you are able to accept the credit you requested. I understand this is due to be disappointing. Our lending policy requires only approved loans to meet certain criteria. Unfortunately, your application did not meet those standards. We review the Hyde Hotel. Been staying in Clive the last seven years. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you to your our bank for your financing needs. We understand the hard work and dedication it takes to run a successful business, and we appreciate the opportunity to work with you. Thank you for your understanding. We reach you all the best of your future endeavors. Sincerely, Mr. Joseph Mill, loan officer, led Darrow's Bank, PSFU. 
like throwing things. Also do it here? I don't know. Maybe I need to like come back and run into something else. Something happened both times, but nothing didn't see anything actually change. But that's yeah, that might just be I have to do somewhere else. As soon as you guys see in the chat, it's been a while. Remember me, Stars Base, I remember feeling impressed with the original. I got the same feeling now. Donkey or horse? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um. I may call it a night in a sec here because I I don't know what I just did was to do. Oh man, it's also freakish. What the hell? This whole game is so freakish. It's it's really well done in my opinion. And I and I could like again have you know, actually walk around the house and have that experience. But I haven't done that. But just, you know, what's available here right now is amazing. But sitting on my ass in the lazy way is crazy. Why are the lights on the floor? What does that mean? I mean, I saw, like, it's, I saw something there. Don't you think I belong on the okay. Great White Way? He's gonna replay the sure. CD, so. I did my stint as chorus girl, but lately all I can get are local gigs. And every great artist needs a patron. Miss Bird, whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. <laughs> and if there's one person to solve Stout's mystery, it will be me alone. Okay. We'll see about that. I go in here. That is like old. Seventh. <laughs> this door is locked. So you have to. Let me go back in here because where was that, where was that book that showed? It was in here, right? And it moved. What happened to that book? I guess press a, press a button or something to bring it up? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, there it is. Upstairs and try to do that. <sighs> yeah. What was that ring ring? What's that? The photo is just spooky. Before. Alright, so now I can see which rooms are available, which rooms are locked. So I was in Hines' bedroom, I can also go to Temple's bedroom, or Knox's bedroom, or Dunn's bedroom. So cool. This is so cool. I love this interface. 
It's awesome, guys. This is really great. You gotta get yourself one of these. I highly recommend it. <laughs> I think that I may call it a night. Now that I got into it here. Hey, hey, Luis, how's it going? Yeah, this is the Meta Quest 3. Um, it, it is super awesome, and this game is really great, too. 7th Guest VR. What time is it? I don't even know. I lost track of time. I can't see the time. Oh, it's 1.35. It's been like an hour. Um, maybe I'll stop here and then continue again. I guess Halloween is approaching. This is like a great game for that, obviously. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, if people are watching this after the fact and you subscribe and like all that good stuff. Don't drink and play. I already drank before this, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, th thank, thanks to Luis. And I guess you see my really weird video over there. Thanks, Stars Manny and Always Asleep and Pow Puck. And the Pirate Gear Boy 12 is missing this today. Who else? Oh, Jim was here. I forgot. See, that's what I do. I scroll to see who was here because I always forget. But you guys are all awesome. Take a drink. Actually, I've been okay, honestly. I said I was getting nauseous, but it was more that I was getting scared really to be honest i mean this is this is freakish and, and creepy it's it's insane it's freaking insane that's all i gotta say it is insane insane it's so immersive and again if i was walking around I'd probably be even more immersive but if i was walking around, i'd probably be shitting in my pants because it's so immersive at least the fact i'm sitting on my ass in my chair I know that I'm still, like, not really in the house. <laughs> anyway, guys, and that's it for tonight. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. And we'll do this again uh, in a couple days. So, yeah, this is Henry Stauff, the Freelix really Psycho Lunatic. So far, a great game. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. And, great, and the Meta Quest 3 is great, too. Great experience. All right, folks. Talk to you all soon. Peace out for now.